what's going on my people we're back for another great episode today we're going to be fishing off the city of Deerfield Beach International Fishing Pier all right here we are So here it is. Everything you need to know. All right. Yep. All right, everyone, right here, I'm just slowing down the image so you guys can actually see all the info that is provided here sorry for the glare well as you can see there's many options you got here even rod rentals you can rent rods if you didn't bring yours they sell bait uh, i will show you the price as you saw it in the beginning right there uh, the entry fee you can actually just enjoy the view if you just want to walk the pier and you got more options they got refreshments and everything inside so i mean as of right now it's starting pretty good so let's see how it goes. We're going to be here just for a few. I'm not buying no bait. Cause I'm not here trying to really fish for a long time. Just for a little. So let's see how it goes. Stay tuned. Look, very organized. Nice cutting boards. Sea turtle rescue. Got some rules here. The water looks crystal crystal clear all right let's see let's see what awaits all right as you can see the end of the pier is close so we got to fish from from around this area you can tell they're actually fixing it up over there since it's missing all right my people keep in mind we're here just for a few since i got the family and i really came to pick up some rims so you know what i couldn't pass out i saw on the map i'm pretty close to a pier and then i realized it was deerfield beach so i'm right. like let's do this let's go see if i can get on some bait all right let's get right to it see if i got hopefully i got some saviki in here if not <laughs> at the bottom and we got one right here perfect so we have a size four this is usually what i use a size four is what i recommend got a nice little sink of weight okay here waste no time i'm only going to be here for a few since i got the family and you know how babies get sometimes here's my little fella <laughs> Set. Remember, don't throw away the garbage in the floor. Oh, the garbage is right here. And here we go. So yeah, let's go for any bait.
I already see some fish down there. I see some little tiny bait fish. All right, guys, I'm not getting any bait, so I'm gonna be using tiny little pieces for fish bites. Let's see if that can help me. If not, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a long day. I'm gonna use a little tiny bit pieces of these. Tiny, tiny pieces. I mean, I didn't bring out my belt, but I listened to you. Look what I got. Right. This should be enough. Got my little assistant right here. Gave me some recommendations. She's like, Father, you're Googling. You don't know what you're doing here, man. Gordo. Thank you. Let's put this away, okay? Let's put the knife away and get to get to work. Thank you. I like nice things and I like good quality stuff. All right, let's go here. Let's see if this makes a difference now. Apparently, everybody here is on a mission of catching bait, and nobody has caught any bait. They're saying there's no bait in the water, and we're in the water, we're in the ocean. There's got to be something here. If I can get into anything, yeah. even a little tiny mohara, yeah. I'll be happy. You just want to cast it out there. Let's see how it goes. I'm gonna try down here. Hopefully this time it works. We got a little something here. And this is not bait, people. This is not bait. Mira Gordo! Mira Gordo! Viste? Alright, let's get him out really quick. French toast. Put the eggs. I guess he forgot how to explain. I like a good bait. Viste Gordo? The eggs running. It was cooked. Solid. Pull that one. And then he forgot my little bit of chocolate milk. I was like, maybe we can. Get this guy. No, I see that guy all the time fishing here. Yeah. The Jamaican guy. Mira Gordo? Tall guy, yeah. Viste? Yeah. And you're talking about here, here right the pit. Gusta? Toca? I see. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, hey, no, what is that? Um, yeah, with everybody. There it is. Um, it was five of us. Viste, Gordo? That. Yeah. O tocaste, tocaste el pescado. Yeah, because my mom, you know, she likes a little, you know, you gotta treat your mom. You know, she likes her little drink and, you know, I don't drink, but yeah. That's the only right. thing we have here. There's another one right there. Yeah. They weren't lying when they said there was no bait. Let's release Bob. Bye bye, Bob. Bye, Bob. <laughs> there he goes. All right, my people. So, fishing didn't go as planned, but then again, I never had planned to come and fish over here. But hey, either way, we had a good time. The kids seem to enjoy the little fishes that I caught here the two cowfish. Please don't forget to name them, by the way. 
but I'm going to give you guys an extra little view of what we got under. So I'm going to drop this camera really quick and show you what's been swimming around us this whole time. So make sure you pay attention. Don't want to miss this. Check out this beautiful mountain snapper just cruising right in front of us. If I only had the right bait. But it's alright though. And don't worry, I'm going to have a full episode. I'm going to tag at the end of the video so you guys can see an entire video of underwater. And you're going to be amazed of the things that I see. I was really shocked because there was actually bait. I just weren't trying on the right spot. But you're going to find out and see how good it was. Don't miss that episode. It'll be the next one. Hey, good morning. How you doing? So we were here for under an hour. You know, it's not even noon yet. So the baby's got to take his nap. But overall, here Fuel Beach here is definitely a spot to check out. You got multiple restaurants here. The beach is beautiful. Parking is accessible. You can park everywhere. It's parking here. It's not even expensive. And overall, the people here are super nice. Yeah, highly recommended. Fishing didn't go as planned. Maybe I should have came more prepared, bring more bait. Live shrimp would have made a difference, I'm pretty sure. But overall, yes, 100%. Come and visit Deerfield Beach. I'm gonna be coming back over here, but next time I guarantee I'm gonna be prepared. Coming with multiple baits and more time to fish. Also, feel free to let me know the next place you want to see. I'm traveling all over South Florida. Usually go with my family, or it could be with the friends, or hey, it could be with any of you guys. You can always direct message me. You can become a member, write to me in private, and we'll make it happen. All right, my people. Overall, Deerfield Beach is a really nice place. If you want to come to a restaurant, come with the family, I didn't see no pets in case you guys are wondering if you can bring any dogs. Uh, but yeah, the restaurants are nice. The pier is really organized and clean. Fishing wasn't too good, as you're gonna see in the video. But overall, it's nice. Oh, come on, look at the water, look at the beaches here, parking everywhere. I think it was like $2.50 an hour to park here. So that's not even bad, it's a good price. So yeah, bring your family, you want to fish, you got the pier, you got the beach, you got restaurants, and some happy hour. So I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.